$30 for one ton of sand and $30 to create a heating source for nearly 100 families in the cold winter. So if you multiply the amount of sand by hundreds of tons, the heat that sand batteries bring will not stop at households anymore. Yes, we are talking about sand batteries. A great solution that can dominate the market, completely replacing traditional lithium batteries. Do the numbers we found prove the terrible power that sand batteries bring? What new aspects have been updated with sand batteries? Let's find out now. How do sand batteries cut industrial costs and balance renewables? In 2022, U.S. industries used about 12,600 petajoules of combustible fuel excluding feedstock mostly to provide heat at temperatures below 1,000 degrees Celsius for applications such as steam generation or heating equipment such as furnaces or ovens. The temperatures provided by sand batteries are well suited for industries that can store temperatures up to 600 degrees Celsius or even higher. While some processes pose challenges for sand batteries, such as primary steel making or require extreme precision, such as oxyacetylene welding, they account for less than 5% of U.S. industrial energy use. Therefore, industrial sand batteries have a large target market and the potential to balance renewables. Considering sand batteries' capital and operating costs, they provide heat at half to one-third the cost of direct grid electricity making them competitive with natural gas prices. Approximately 84% of energy-related industrial emissions come from burning fossil fuels to provide heat for U.S. manufacturing processes. Fortunately, sand batteries can reduce the cost of electricity for industrial heating by 50 to 63%, fundamentally changing the decision-making process for businesses around electrifying process heat equipment while still meeting up to 90% of industrial process heat needs. New research from Energy Innovation models the costs, illustrating that the battery could reliably deliver heat at $35 to $62 per megawatt hour of thermal output, reducing the cost of generating heat from electricity to a level that is competitive with continuing to operate existing natural gas equipment. By absorbing and storing excess energy from renewable sources, such as solar and wind, the battery stabilizes the grid and reduces emissions by 70%. The operation of the battery does not release any pollutants into the surrounding air, and Polar Night Energy even uses spent fuel waste along with high-density materials such as silicon and coal mine waste to produce the battery. By reducing dependence on fossil fuels, the battery contributes significantly to reducing carbon dioxide emissions and other pollutants, protecting the environment. Moreover, sand batteries do not contain toxic chemicals like lithium-ion batteries, which can pollute water and soil when damaged or improperly disposed of. This not only reduces the risk of environmental pollution, but also ensures the safety of surrounding communities. What makes sand batteries an alternative to lithium-ion batteries? Unlike lithium-ion batteries that rely on minerals that are difficult to mine, sand batteries use land. The input material has a huge impact on the production cost of the entire battery system, and sand batteries are doing a great job of that. Specifically, the battery in Pornanen will be filled with crushed soapstone, a byproduct of the construction industry. Polar Knight says the battery will work with any sand-like material that has a high enough density and delivers good performance. This could eventually cost less than $11 per kilowatt hour, which is 10 times cheaper than current lithium batteries. On the other hand, the US Renewable Energy Laboratory NREL, points out that sand is a stable, low-cost material, with prices ranging from $30 to $50 per ton and has a low ecological impact during mining and at the end of its useful life. NREL is working on a more ambitious prototype, albeit one based on the same principle as its Finnish counterpart. The innovative battery, called Enduring, could have a storage capacity of up to 26,000 megawatt hours. As we understand it, NRL's prototype uses conveyor belts to lift sand onto heating elements that heat the sand to 1200 degrees Celsius for storage in silos. Specifically, the sand battery can store energy for weeks and months while maintaining 85% of its original temperature. 
For example, if the output heat target is 600 degrees Celsius for heating the heating system, then when storing the heat in the battery system, the temperature only needs to be kept at 610 degrees Celsius. This way, even if there is a slight heat loss of 1 to 5 degrees Celsius during transportation, the system can still maintain the original target temperature. Using lithium batteries in this case is not possible because the energy storage capacity is not highly appreciated. It can only be stored for a very short time, a few hours. Besides, lithium batteries do not work well in very high temperatures. 600 degrees Celsius can explode due to the battery structure being broken. This makes sand batteries a safer and more sustainable choice than lithium batteries. One major advantage of sand batteries that we highly value is their safety, something that lithium batteries are actively seeking. As mentioned earlier, sand batteries operate by storing heat at temperatures ranging from 500 to 600 degrees Celsius in a dry sand environment. Unlike lithium ion batteries, sand batteries do not contain flammable electrolytes and are not at risk of thermal runaway. This makes sand batteries an ideal choice for future electric vehicles where safety is a critical factor. Lithium ion batteries, which power everything from smartphones and laptops to electric vehicles, tend to deplete after each charge and are highly flammable, leading to an increasing number of fatal fires worldwide. Therefore, the long-term energy storage capability of up to several weeks or even months offers the potential for sand batteries to be a breakthrough in the electric vehicle industry. Additionally, sand batteries have a lifespan of up to 10,000 cycles when properly maintained. Under the same conditions of good storage and use, sand batteries have twice the lifespan of lithium-ion batteries, reaching 3,000 charge-discharge cycles. In addition, sand has the property of shrinking over time and being reused after completing the cycle, extending the life of this material. In general, to prolong the life of all equipment in general and sand batteries in particular, we need to take good care and maintain it. These systems can provide reliable heat storage and release for many years, making them a sustainable and long-term storage solution. With long life, low cost and versatility, sand batteries are used in district heating systems, industrial processes, and power generation. How does a sand battery work? A sand battery charges when renewable energy is abundant, such as on a particular windy or sunny day. The clean electricity powers a heater, which heats the battery to between 600 degrees Celsius and 1200 degrees Celsius. In fact, the maximum temperature of a sand-based thermal storage facility is not limited by the properties of the storage medium, but by the heat resistance of the materials used in the construction and control of the storage facility. This energy can be stored for weeks or even months. The battery releases the hot gas on demand, such as heating water in a district heating network when needed. This can provide cheap heat to homes, factories, and even swimming pools, helping people remove oil from the district heating network, cutting emissions by almost 70%. The battery stores 8 megawatt hours of thermal energy when full. When energy demand increases, the battery will discharge around 200 kilowatts of electricity through the heat exchanger pipes, enough to provide heat and hot water for around 100 homes and a public swimming pool. The stored heat is released by blowing cool air through the pipes. The heat is heated as it passes through the storage and can be used to convert water into processed steam or to heat district heating water in an air-to-water heat exchanger. As we mentioned, heat storage is not so sensitive to sand grain size. Polar Night Energy prefers high-density, low-cost materials that are not from scarce sources. Other people's land can be our heat storage medium. We prefer to use materials that are not suitable for the construction industry, says a member of the company's engineering team. The new sand battery in Pornainen, which took 13 months to build and will keep residents warm in the winter of 2025, is expected to be 13 meters high and 15 meters wide. With a capacity of 100 megawatt hours, Polar Night estimates it could heat the entire town of Pornainen for a week in winter or a month in summer when demand is lower. 
The new battery will be around 10 times larger than the pilot plant the startup has been operating since 2022. Of course, sand batteries are expected to be integrated into combined heat and power systems, which are valuable because they can be controlled in real time, improving grid stability and optimizing the functions of the sand battery. Sand batteries can store heat for heating in winter or cooling machinery when overloaded, increasing productivity and efficiency in factories. Developing efficient battery systems could help engineers maintain grid balance by absorbing voltage spikes and releasing that energy when the grid needs it. Sand is being studied by research groups around the world, such as a US-Finland partnership. The success of this project could lead to large-scale deployment of sand battery systems in other parts of the US, such as Alaska, and globally, to support winter and summer energy needs. Startups and researchers could also build on the results to develop new versions with higher capacity or smaller sizes. We would be happy if you leave comments about this. We hope you'll experience the utmost relaxation after watching this video. If you do, please press the like button and join our channel by subscribing to our channel. Hit the notification bell icon to stay tuned for any fantastic videos coming your way. Thank you so much for watching and we look forward to seeing you soon. Until then, stay safe and enjoy.